Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue rectangle A, B, C, D and this uh, square A, C, E, F put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, one of the side lengths uh, of this uh, square is uh, A, C which is the diagonal of this uh, blue rectangle and moreover the area of this uh, yellow right triangle ABC has been given to us uh, as 169 centimeter square and furthermore uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is being represented by 2 times x whereas uh, this side length uh, BC is uh, x and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow right triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base times a height. And since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees and our uh, base uh, of this uh, yellow triangle ABC is 2 times X uh, and the height uh, is uh, X and the area of this uh, yellow triangle is 169 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so area of this triangle is uh, 169 equals to a half uh, times our base is uh, 2 times X uh, and the height uh, is uh, X and here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out and x times x is going to give us uh, x square equals to 169 let me undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, this square and square root is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be positive uh, 13 centimeter so therefore our x value turns out to be 13 and this 2 times x is going to become uh, 2 times 13 is uh, 26 and now let's focus once again on this uh, yellow triangle ABC once again and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our diagonal of this triangle is this side uh, AC and we are going to calculate this one whereas our two other legs are uh, 13 and uh, 26 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 13 square plus uh, 20 square equal to this side length uh, AC whole uh, square let me undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our this uh, AC length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 845 so therefore our this uh, hypotenuse AC turns out to be square root of uh, 845 and now let's make an observation we can see that AC is uh, one of the side lengths uh, of this uh, square ACEF so therefore uh, this square uh, ACEF's uh, side length turns out to be square root of 845 so therefore I can write uh, that this uh, side length uh, is 845 and now we are going to calculate the area of this square ACEF and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s is the side length uh, of the square and in our case our side length value is the square root of 845 so therefore uh, the area of this square is going to be square root of uh, 845 whole uh, square and now I am going to label uh, this as our equation uh, number one and here's our next step now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple as you can see in this uh, next step I have drawn these uh, straight lines MN and PT that passes through this uh, common point uh, D such that uh, this line uh, 
mn is parallel to this side length uh, ac of the square and likewise uh, this uh, line uh, pt is parallel to this uh, side uh, of the square af and now let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle uh, mdta and we can see this uh, diagonal ad divides uh, the area of this rectangle into two equal parts uh, this uh, part uh, and uh, this uh, part so therefore if the area of this uh, triangle is lowercase a then the area of this uh, other identical triangle is going to be lowercase a as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, next uh, rectangle and here this uh, diagonal uh, cd divides the area of this rectangle into two equal parts uh, this uh, area and uh, this uh, area if the area of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase b then the area of this other identical triangle is going to be lowercase b as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, next uh, rectangle if the area of this uh, triangle is lowercase c then the area of this uh, the other identical uh, triangle is going to be lowercase c as well and finally let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle if uh, the area of this uh, identical triangle is uh, lowercase uh, d then the area of this other identical triangle is going to be lowercase d as well so therefore the total area inside this square a c e f is going to be a plus a plus b plus b plus c plus c plus uh, d plus uh, d so therefore the area of this uh, square uh, a c e f is going to be a plus a plus uh, b plus uh, b plus uh, c plus c plus uh, d and finally plus lowercase d as well and we know the square area has been uh, given to us as 845 so therefore uh, i'm going to replace this left hand side by 845 over here and now i am going to divide by 2 across uh, the board uh, to make things uh, simple so therefore our a plus b plus c plus uh, d value turns out to be equal to 422.5 I am going to label this one as our equation number two and now let's focus once again on this uh, rectangle uh, a b c d and we got uh, this diagonal uh, a c so therefore uh, the area of this uh, yellow triangle which is 169 is going to be equal to the area of this uh, other identical uh, triangle uh, a c d so this uh, area is going to be 169 as well in other words uh, a plus b is going to be equal to 169 so therefore i can write uh, a plus b equal to 169 and now let's focus once again on this uh, equation too we got uh, a plus b and the value of a plus b is 169 so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, that value over here as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore our uh, c plus uh, d value turns out to be equal to uh, 253.5 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, its uh, area is going to be the sum of uh, c plus uh, d as you can see in this uh, equation green shaded area is equal to c plus d area and we know our c plus d area is 253.5 so therefore our green shaded area turns out to be 253.5 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 253.5 centimeters square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye